So let me ask a question. I presume a tourniquet is the right thing to do. No, no, no. So that's the thing, is a lot of these things that people used to recommend are no longer recommended. And, you know, even the Boy Scouts used to recommend cutting and sucking. Well, we, don't, we studied that, and it doesn't work. It can make it a lot worse, and so we don't recommend it anymore. I mean... It doesn't th taste good either. And that's <laughs> exactly. It doesn't taste good. It's not good on your GI tract. So that's why I feel like you need a show like this to get the word out there so that people don't um, continue to do like antiquated first aid techniques like applying a tourniquet. We don't recommend tourniquets for, for any snake bites in the United States. Not, not a tourniquet. Okay, so then um, you get bit. Yeah. You're a half hour away from an emergency room. You just hightail to the yard. Nothing you can do at your house is beneficial. So, you know, it, venomous snake bite, that's, that's, that's right. That's right. So venomous snake bite is a medical emergency. There's no effective first aid, unfortunately. So I always tell people that's a good time to call 911. When you're bitten by a venomous snake, I recommend you call 911 because, you know, snake venom is comprised of digestive enzymes in nature snake venom is used to digest prey it digests humans too when it gets ingested when it gets injected and the sooner you can give antivenom the sooner you can stop digestion and then you can heal from that so call 911 go to the emergency department and get treated with antivenom